It's week eight of the NFL. And up next, it's a name everyone will recognize, Marvin Harrison Jr. And with him, any catch could be a big one. He's the NFL leader in touchdown receptions. It's the Bengals Welcome and the in, Eagles. Everyone, and it's this kicking presentation off next on of the National NFL Football 25. League on EA Sports. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Greg, one of the joys of covering the league week in, week out. You watch guys grow and mature, and all of a sudden you turn around and look at the quarterbacks we have in this game. Now we're looking at guys who have arrived at that magic term, franchise quarterback. Yeah, I think you just have to give a lot of credit, of course, to the player themselves, the work, the ability to invest in themselves to develop, but also in these organizations. They continue to surround these quarterbacks as they've gotten older with better talent, better systems, play to their strengths, maybe... Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Jones now on the return. Uh-huh. He'll get across the 20. Mark him down at the 23-yard line. The Bengals offense comes out led by their quarterback, Joe Burrow. And they keep him healthy because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU. Took this team to the Super Bowl. Now Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. And while I don't think that stat line last week had him up for any sort of awards, if I had to guess, gun, gun. he'd much rather have gun. a modest game and a win gun. as opposed to throwing for a bunch of touchdowns in a loss. The biggest thing that he did, Mike, he took care of the ball. So as long as he continues to... A big hole! And what an effort after the catch! He goes all the way! 77 yards! Touchdown, Cincinnati! So on fourth down, they'll call on Braden Mann to punt. Charlie Jones, the return man for the Bengals. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. The Bengals offense and veteran Ezekiel Elliott making their way back out. He's been a machine in the red zone here, first couple of months of the season, in fact, leading the NFL in rushing touchdowns. Here we go, here we go. Now here's the longtime star in the league, Zeke Elliott. And he'll find some space, taking it for six out to the 26-yard line. Here we go, here we go. They'll come up now for second down and four. Working out of the gun, Burrow. That's the first-round rookie out of Ohio State, Marvin Harrison Jr. And he will take this one in. Four yards. Touchdown, Cincinnati. We are all square, 14 apiece the score as this one's away. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. 
the Bengals offense and quarterback Justin Fields make their way back out and he's given defenses across the league a lot to think about when they try to game plan for him consider he's currently second in the NFL in quarterback rushing yards here we go the drive starts with a run and it's Elliott and let's give him about four on that one and Landon Roberts in there on the tackle here's a second and six here we go off the play action here's Fields he's gonna run it Ooh. he's taken down but just shy of midfield you know Mike I like everything about this play except the very end you've already picked up good yardage you've already picked up the first down now get down on the ground and protect yourself there's no reason to take those shots Marvin Harrison Jr. the intended target and it'll lead to a second down Working out of the gun, it's Fields. Over the middle, it's Harrison. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. They face second down and seven. Here we go. They'll stick with Elliott. He'll edge forward for maybe a yard. It is Ryan Neal there to bring him down. They need to get to the 22, but now face third down. He's got it at about the eight. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. The production has been sensational early on. The last catch putting him over 100 receiving yards. And we still have another half to play. Here's a run. Look at him move away from a tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. Two minutes to play here in what's been an even first half. We'll come back to Cincinnati in a moment. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Here we go, Scott. Go. They'll run. Here's Elliott. And that big offensive line clearing space. He's in. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Cincinnati. That touchdown, number 11 on the year. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finished it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Bengals offense and Marvin Harrison Jr. getting set for their next drop. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in the first half, it's resulted in a big play that is borne out by those eye-popping numbers. Here we go. Good. All right. Fields now to throw on first down. And he will get down here as he wisely avoids the contact. He can't beat a running quarterback. Gain a 16 and a first down. Now the Bengals are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Set to go now on first and 10. Here we go. From the shotgun, it's Fields. That's caught downfield by Harrison. What a way to start this drive. A second big play. This one for 22. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. Go, How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? 
And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Ball down to the 16-yard line. And it's first and 10. Fields now. That is caught. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll try to run this one in. Trying to find a crease in there. It's a big pile of bodies. But he is going to come up short. So we'll take a breath. We're at the half. It has been an intriguing game to this point. As we'll send you down to Orlando now, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. More from you and Greg in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll start our tour out in the City of Angels, Los Angeles. And it's the Saints who are out in front. Derek Carr lighting it up. Three touchdown passes there. Next, we'll stay in the NFC West as we head up through Oregon and on to Seattle to check on the Seahawks. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Josh Allen with a touchdown pass to Keon Coleman. Lastly, we're off to the Rocky Mountains, Denver, Colorado. See what's happening with the Broncos. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. It's the rookie, Bo Nix, with two touchdown passes. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Both these teams running through their final adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. you not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half very good kickoff returnable from the four a good return as he takes it across the 30 following the kickoff we have an injured player on the field as the athletic training staff looks at him we'll step away for a moment So they come to the line for first down and 10. To start this on the ground with Elliott. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's second and six. Set, ready. Smash, red. Ready. They'll throw out of the gun. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him. And... Third down. Now the Bengals are going to call the first of their timeouts. Here comes third and six. Let's go now. Now, faking the give. And that is incomplete. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Jones now on the return. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The Bengals offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. Let's go. And he's been a real threat, not just with the arm, but the wheels as well. The NFL's leader amongst quarterbacks in terms of rushing touchdowns. You talk about a quarterback getting bailed out. Man, that is a pick all day long, and 
As this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet, but I can promise you they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that. Trying to get it to Jamar Chase. And it's going to bring up a third down. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. Here we go. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Not exactly the type of drive to write home about, Mike. Three passes, three incompletions, no yards gained. And I really can't blame any of these fans who have continued to voice their frustration, especially after that last series of play calls. And he'll wind up out of bounds past the 45-yard line. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Ready, ready. Black shot. Set. To the air now on first and 10. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and 10. It leads to second and 10. Back to throw. Escaping the danger, throwing and completing. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and 10. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I go. think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire... And he will score! Ezekiel Elliott, touchdown Bengals. That is second touchdown of the game. Numbers 11-12 on the season. We're seeing this so much all across. Here comes the Eagles punt team. And he is hoping to improve on his first attempt. On the return is Jones. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. Ready. On the bootleg, he'll look to throw. Off balance throw. It's complete. Down the right sideline. And they will finally get him out of bounds. It is a big hitter to close out the third quarter. So no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. Back with more after the break. Double. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Set. Set. They'll stick to the ground. Not much happening there, just a short game. Ready. Here's second and nine. Steel, black. Hut, hut. They'll look to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up. He's out of bounds at the two. A gain of 15. And a first down. Mike, this is the element to the position that this guy brings that's just so unique across the league. Not only the speed, but his ability to operate.
field as a runner, it is hard for a defense to plan for a guy like this. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. A good blocking, and he's in. Cut down Cincinnati. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. Greg, every touchdown counts the same, but the ones you get in the fourth quarter, they are the ones that feel a little more important. Yeah, now that pressure shifts to your defense, your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late. Does your defense have enough left in them to get? All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense has got to be at its wit's end trying to come up with a way to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go. And he's turned a number of those into big plays. Back to throw here to begin the drive. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game, fourth quarter. The game is on the line. Everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going, and I can't blame them. Ready, go. Set, go. They'll run here. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league that play would have resulted in a loss, but not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss, but it's still stopped for no gain. They'll keep it on the ground. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And he's into a slide to avoid the contact. Does so successfully, and it's a first down. I can tell you from firsthand, Mike, seeing it unfold, runs like this demoralize any defense. I mean, he's been doing it pretty much since the beginning of the game, and they have yet to find an answer for keeping him under wraps. He has run wild from that quarterback position. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. Okay, it's second right? down. Elliott. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. On the set. What will they do on this play? Third down, needing eight. Here we go. Here we go. Cut. They'll drop to throw. That ball intercepted. Picked off by their rookie first round pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Here's first down. Ben in motion is Brown. That's caught downfield by Smith. And he'll be taken down up past the 40-yard line. Plenty of time, plus two timeouts at their disposal. It's first and ten. Hurts working in the pistol. And to the right. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And that was very nearly a disaster at this juncture of the game. But fortunately, a teammate able to cradle it, and they keep possession. They'll come up first and ten at the 40. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. That one is caught by Campbell. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Now timeout Cincinnati. That's their second. As they get it with just under a minute to go in this football game. Here comes Barkley. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. 
Second down and eight. Barkley. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. So now the Bengals use their third and final timeout. Box stops with 33 seconds remaining. Now Barkley. And he's not going to get there again. Same player, same result. No gain, and now it's fourth down. This kick is good. And it's celebration time. A walk-off victory on the game's final play. So it's a win here for the visiting Eagles. They get themselves into field goal range for one final shot. Kicker delivers. They avoid overtime and come away with a three-point victory. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.